late last night we are at our cute little Airbnb about to go get some coffee I am on my way to my first run here and I swear I think I just felt some raindrops just to be expected. Let me just show you what I'm looking at right now. Mountains are in the clouds, can't even see the top of them, but man, this weather is amazing so welcome after being back home in 100 degree weather love it there are so many families and little kids here um that are all just riding bikes together and i just feel like we are with our kind of people <laughs> it's amazing this trail, it's headed up towards Alice Lake. And my plan is to make a loop around um, what is called Edith Lake, and then head back, should be about four miles today. I feel completely safe on this trail. I missed a turn to get to the lake. So it's fine. I can still get there. I'm just going the long way around. <laughs> Since I took the long way around anyway, decided to come to one more lake. This was on Lake. Now I'm headed back to Edith Lake and then back home. Okay guys, I'm a crazy person, but I'm only two kilometers away from Alice Lake. Um, I was basically at Edith Lake, about to head back, but I thought, why not? I'm not sure what trails I'm doing tomorrow, so might not get another chance to come out here. So, going for it, but I'm gonna walk a little bit. So, here we go. Thank you. 
Can I get to Edith Lake? TV here or mute it. So Nick just left to go ride. I am finishing my coffee and um, chilling, watching TV at our Airbnb. And then um, I'm about to go get ready. I don't know if I'm going to run today, um, but there are still some trails I want to check out. So I might just kind of hike and um, take a little walk, go explore a little bit while Nick is writing, and then we'll meet back here and go get some lunch after. Our Airbnb is so close. To, um, to so many trails, it's so nice because I can just walk there and Nick can ride there and we don't have to worry about meeting up with the car. We can go our own separate directions and then just meet back up at home. Pretty awesome. So this is the Garibaldi Highlands area in Squamish, which is the closest to our Airbnb. And I was on the same trail network yesterday, just going a different direction. So, we'll see how it goes. Well, I could have started this loop that I'm hiking today um, in a different area, a different trailhead, which was my plan originally, but I felt so comfortable hiking from where I hiked from yesterday that I decided to just go this route and um, I feel like that's like number one rule is to go where you feel safe especially in a place that you're unfamiliar with especially when you're by yourself um, I do have spray in my pack so um I'm really hoping I don't have to use it this trip but I've got it I'm prepared so so I could go straight or apparently you can go left to get to where I'm wanting to go and I just looked to see what this trail is it's a downhill trail pretty sure Nick's gonna be over here later you cannot tell by this video how steep this is, but holy balls. It's insane. So I guess I'm going straight.
if you can tell how steep this trail is that it wants me to go on. Holy cow. She's steep. Okay, I had to put the camera down, put it away. It was so steep, I had to run up it and like hold on to roots and climb. I almost got run over by a bike. Um, they were super nice and they're like, oh, sorry. I love Canadians. So, I said I wasn't probably going to run today, this hike, but I'm pretty sure it's this like gradual downhill. Um, just finished this one loop and I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just like gradual downhill on the way back, so I think I might run it. So, see at the bottom. That was wrong. It's not downhill the whole way. I'm doing it. Do this. Yeah. Love hills. They're my favorite thing in the world. Ooh. And this weather is perfect. Couldn't ask for better. Look who I ran into. Hey. Okay. See you later. Okay, bye. Jurassic Park.
Oh. Yes. Oh, slabby patty. Head tubes? <laughs> oh, oh, grab my head tubes. <laughs> Nick is getting set up with his um, downhill bike and is gonna go ride at the bike park today. I'm headed back to our hotel um, and um, I'm gonna go check out some trails to run. And right now I'm just trying to figure out how the heck to get back to our hotel. This place is huge. It all kind of looks the same. I already made the wrong turn. I thought it was pretty straightforward, but apparently not. So I might have to uh, pull it up on my phone here in a bit. So I love that in Whistler, you're just like in the middle of all this like hustle and bustle, a million tourists, all these shops and restaurants and hotels. And then to get to our hotel, there's this little trail and it's so cute little woodsy area and I'm just glad I found my way back today <laughs> so super cute going back inside gonna go get ready to run okay I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit of a trek to get to this trail but doable it's a good warm-up it's really hot and really sunny today. The 
this is just um, a gravel trail, super populated. But um, I'm headed to a lake up here. some of the other trails. Um, my, ooh, my goal is to make my way towards Green Lake. It's a little bit of a ways away. I'm not going to run it. I might run on the way back, but um, <clears throat> it's pretty hot. So I'm going to hike the rest of the way really regretting not putting sunscreen on or a hat to not come prepared today. I still didn't technically make it to Green Lake, but I might come back tomorrow. It is such a beautiful view where I am right now. I am getting a little bit tired of the gravel trail though. So ready to eat some food. Where I am right now. I just have to show you. I literally just got here. Running me a bike for today. Yeah? Yeah. That's so pretty.
Oh my god, babe, you gotta come up here. Waiting for Nick. He decided to go ride this blue trail and um, turns out I'm more of a green trail kind of gal. Um, but we're having fun, so I rode up here a little bit just to wait for him. I hope this is where the trail comes out that he went on, so. Hanging out, wait for him, and then enjoying this beautiful view. Yes. We survived the chief. Barely, but we survived it. Nick got a little bit sketched out with the heights at the top, but he did it. We mustered through. We just went to the first peak and came back down and then hiked around some of the trails at the bottom here um, towards Shannon Falls. But he is changing. We're pretty gross and sweaty. Um, it's a short hike, but it's pretty beefy, but um, he's changing, so then we're going to head back um, towards town and go get some lunch. Started our day up there. Now we're down here. That's why people ask where I'm from. 
Heavier than than you thought it was gonna be. Interesting, like to be kosher too. I need to go like right over the top. <laughs> You're gonna be spending your entire time trying to pick this thing up, killing your fingertips. <laughs> you need to get really low. <laughs> Because if it goes even like half a centimeter, I'm calling it. Oh, yes! Did that. that it look, a, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Come on. You gotta stand up with it? I think you just gotta get it off the ground. <laughs> you know what it is. You don't have your climbing shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Put the shoes on. <laughs> fun climbing this afternoon. Really sad tomorrow's our last day. hike here and then the loop that I'm planning to do is the four lakes
trail loop, um, which I've run part of it um, the first day here. I ran part of it, but plan to do the whole loop today. And um, we'll see if I can do it. I'm pretty tired, pretty sore. Look at this. It's as big as my hand. Oh my god. I think I found the toadlets. They're so cute. Come here, little guy. This is the third one I've seen. They're everywhere. Made it to Alice Lake Campground and I found a bathroom. been running downhill the entire the entire time since I started running which I'm working my way around the lake now and then I know what goes down must come up here we go already going up and up the bike, uh -huh. getting a video, documenting. Thank you. 